you guys, obviously it's your first year here. What did you know about the shootout? What did you heard about it before you got here? Um, yeah, I mean, so I, I'm from Indiana, so I mean, I, I've known about, you know, the rivalry here. Um, I watched it, you know, growing up several times. Um, you know, obviously it's a huge game. Um, um, you know, it's heated rivalry. Um, so, I, I mean, I watched and I knew about it, and I knew that'd be, you know, something I'd get to experience, um, you know, coming here. So um, I'm just looking forward to the opportunity. I honestly didn't know much about it at all. Uh, I, I, but, I, you know, as soon as I got here, I heard a lot about it, kind of got into it with some, some Twitter stuff, um, like when I first got on campus here. So <clears throat> I didn't know much about it, but after having been here for a little bit, I'm pretty excited about it. So you still are getting kind of chippy on Twitter, or you did recently. Yeah. Uh, first of all, does anyone tell you here say, say don't engage ahead of the shootout? And B, do you feel like that that adds anything to the rivalry for you, having never played them before? Um, no one's no one's told me really not to. Uh, I'm I'm careful not to say anything like too far going too far. It's just kind of you know I make it fun. It's a fun rivalry, um, but. No, it, it's it's definitely it's it's kind of fun for me to do. Uh, what, what do you guys know about just that that environment going over there? I know they just renovated the arena, but have you you know seen it on tape? How loud it is? Maybe that Ohio State game to open the season with them. Just um, how excited are you to get in that environment with this rivalry? <clears throat> um, so we, I mean, we hear a lot about it. we hear about how loud it is. We hear about like I mean, how much fun it is to to go there and, and specifically how great it is to win there. Um, so, I mean, that's definitely what we're going to try to do and, and try to, we're going to try to make it as quiet as possible at the end. But um, it's definitely going to be a fun environment to be in. How dangerous is there, there are there big men? I mean, they've, they've played, they've got better after that loss to Ohio State. Um, Trey Scott's, he yeah, had 20 points the other night. Um, what do you know about those guys down low? So I actually just watched uh, some of their some of their film because I wasn't here yesterday. I was out sick, um, but I mean they're they're great finishing around the rim. Their guards do a really great job of coming off the of ball screens and and finding the bigs down low to finish. Um, Trey Scott is I mean he's really really comfortable starting that mid range, getting getting down low, getting some shot fakes, and so uh, we're definitely going to have to stay on our feet and, and play a smart game and then be really really physical on the boards because they're uh, they're all really good at offensive rebounding. So that's really important. This is for both of you guys. You guys have obviously played basketball long enough. You played in plenty of rival games, whether it's in high school, your previous stops in college. What kind of personality does it take to play in a game like this, where it's a rival game, where it's a big game, it's an important game? Do you have to have a certain style of personality, do you think, that's different than other games when you play in a game like this? I mean, I think you have to have, you know, a little bit of an edge to you, um, obviously, you know, um, there's going to be, you know, it's going to be a hostile environment. Um, but I think you also have to have a lot of poise, you know, especially in, you know, the, I mean, it's going to be so loud in there. Um, you know, we're not going to be able to hear anything. You know, Cincinnati is going to be a physical team. It's going to be a physical game. Um, so I think you have to have some poise, you know, you know, whether they hit a shot or, you know, make a play or something bad happens. You know, you have to be, um, you have to be able to stay poised and, you know, uh, stick to the game plan, really. <clears throat> um. I mean, every time we play in a rivalry game, there's always a little bit more chippiness, a little bit more, um, you know, everybody gets that same, I'm, you know, I'm coming at you personality. Uh, but, I mean, I try to do that in every game. I try to, you know, find that matchup and make my own rivalry with every game. So, um, I don't know. I think, I think it just kind of takes on its own personality when you get in a rivalry game. For either of you guys, how much did Quentin or Tyreek tell you about this game? Because they're the only guys that have really played over there. Uh, I got warned a little bit about fans and, and uh, some of the stuff to look forward to with them uh, being close to the court and what you might hear and, and how loud it gets in there. That's about it. What about you, Ryan? Um, yeah, I mean, I, we've, we've talked in the locker room a little bit about it, um, you know, mainly just about how loud it's going to be. Um, you know, obviously it would be a hostile environment, um, but I'm just looking forward to it. So it's your first true road game. How do you feel like maybe Maui and having more of a split crowd might prepare you for this, even though it's going to be a lot different? I mean, do you think that gives you any sort of like preparation for what you might be going into tomorrow? I think it was be new for us because I mean we did have we did have a lot of support in Maui and still had a lot of people making noise for us. So um, we're gonna have to bring a lot of our own energy. I'm not I'm not sure. Uh, 
if there's is there many Xavier fans there often now? Probably not. Yeah. So we're gonna have to make a lot of our own energy, but um, I think we can. I think we can do that within our team. Are you uh, starting to feel more like yourself again now? <clears throat> over the past couple of days. Yeah. 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 I'm definitely. I definitely got over it, and and today's gonna be good. Getting back to practice and all that. How do you think you guys can try to attack them? UC is known for their defense. They're rated one of the best defensive efficiency teams in the entire country. So. What are the ways that you think you can attack them and try to have some success against them? Um, yeah, I mean, they're a great um, defensive team. Um, you know, obviously, I think, you know, one of the strengths of our team is, you know, playing inside out. Um, you know, we have two great post guys, and we have a lot of really athletic drivers. Um, so I think, you know, we can, if we can play inside out, um, you know, driving the ball and then kicking, you know, I think they collapse a lot because they're looking for steals. Um, you know, when we when we either post the ball or drive the ball. Um, so I think, you know, doing that and then just really taking care of the ball, I think we'll, we'll be able to get good shots. I think the main the main things to think or to, to that we need to do is, like you said, like, you know, land on two, play strong with it, make the right passes, um, get it inside, look for look for good shots um, to be kicked to. And then also just uh, being really, really strong uh, on the glass. That's that's really huge with them because they're a great physical rebounding team. Zach, when you show up to a game like this with a big personality, with cornrows, with Hanky McSpanky, yeah. uh, do you expect to be targeted oh, by their hated. students? They're going to hate me. They're going to hate me. I'm going to love it. I'm going to smile right in their faces. It's going to be good. Is that something you have to force yourself to do, or is that just naturally your personal? I think that's just kind of natural. You know, um, back at my old school at Ferris State, I had, you know, for a year I had hair, like, hair down my shoulders and had it braided every once in a while. And, and you know, I had fans like booing me and jeering me and it was just it feeds me energy you know it's it's fun um so no i don't know i think it just kind of happens naturally i think it's i think it's fun